Toyota Center in Houston Texas the third season that the Rockets are playing here and the Indiana Pacers are one of just three teams that the Rockets have never beat at the Toyota Center on their home court Pacers winning the last two seasons here but on the flip side the Rockets winning those two years at Conseco Fieldhouse Chevrolet starting lineups Indiana with Jeff Foster and Peja Stojakovic up front Scott Pollard at center and the backcourt of Houston zone Stephen Jackson along with Anthony or uh, yes Anthony Johnson and for Houston you see Tracy McGrady inserted in the starting lineup did not play last night in Minnesota. He's up front with Jawan Howard, Yao Ming, one of the hottest players in the league right now, in the middle, and yeah, the veteran David Wesley, and Rafer Alston in the backcourt. Alston also one of the players who did not play in the first meeting in Indiana. Pacers winning that one, 85 to 74. Thing at seven foot six, 310 pounds. And the hefty Scott Pollard will just try to body him. Yeah, he's trying to keep him off his sweet spot. Yao the Pacers come out shooting and hold the 9-6 to six lead. Boy, look at Yao Ming get that deep post position. My goodness. He is so big and strong, especially down below the waist, Al. His legs are like oak tree trunks. And then Yao Ming, this is really deep position. Scott Pollard fighting but not able to keep him from the sweet spot right inside the restricted area. Well, this has been his most productive stretch of his career. Eight straight 20-point ball game. Now for, for AJ. Yao Ming cashing in. David Harrison replaces Pollard, who picked up his early two on Yao Ming. Foster rushes that one. Now it's Harrison dealing with Yao Ming. Foster in the air, and finally grabbed by Howard. It is... Yao Ming at both ends of the floor, and we're tied at 15. By being aggressive in the post. I think you should just get it. Tonight we will reveal a phone number to call. But you talk about McGrady being rather passive here with the way Yao has played, you can understand why he would look to be less aggressive than normal. And the way Yao has played, McGrady gets it into his hands. Yao starting to find himself. He's healthy, and he's playing with great aggressiveness and force in the low box area. And that was part of the difficulty and the nature of the man was also to be. Brady the last five years has averaged around 28 points a game. How about that pass by Jamal Tinsley, but Yao Ming uh, enough. Beautiful pass here by Tinsley. And Yao Ming got a piece of that as Jeff Foster tried to punch it home. Yao got just enough of it to action. Pacers at 30 and 27 right now. They are three games from fourth place Cleveland. Yao Ming, that's his first field goal since he poured in 13 points in the first quarter. Indiana 17 of 18 from the foul line. Boy, nice job by Pollard to move his feet, although that time, because he did, in trying to front Yao, Yao was inside of him when the shot was taken. But they've had everything available to them in their offensive game now. They've gotten stuff inside. They've gotten quick hitting stuff in transition. They've gotten to the foul line. They've made threes. I mean, everything in the repertoire of the Pacers has been available because of good ball handling and good movement. All right, Devin Harrison has to watch out now because the foul was called by Tony Brothers, who has already dished out a couple of uh, tees, and he is a quick trigger. Yao Ming gets the basket. You see Peja Stojakovic quickly going. To Harrison, try to settle him down. He won it, 93 to 87. And tonight it's the Pacers shorthanded on the road, yeah. and with the lead at halftime. But with the ball to start the second half, points for Stojakovic. That's what he's averaging uh, as a Pacer. This is 16th game for number 16, and Yao Ming buries his first two shots. And Alston passes up that three. And Yao Ming starts with three consecutive field goals in a minute, 15 seconds. Right here tonight, going 20 minutes and has scored 15 points, making the most of it. Yeah. Inside, four for four start. The big reason why he gets Yao is his assignment here to start this second half. Last night, 30 to go along with 13 rebounds and four blocks. Portland, he had 32. Rockets have yet to really keep the Pacers from penetrating. There's a nice play by Austin to me. A little bit of the Pacers' own medicine there, penetration. 
reliable bench players. Fred Jones and Danny Granger here tonight. Yao Ming quickly goes to work. Forget about it. And it is a two-point game. And Rick Carlisle calls another timeout, looks at the clock and sees eight and a half long minutes to go. Ninety-five, ninety-four, Indiana, down to the final three and a half minutes. And Yao Ming just gets position. Thirty-six points for Yao Ming. And the Pacers pop in front by one. An exciting finish here in Houston. Pollard with Yao Ming making the move. Foster hands up in the air. For the third consecutive has hit the 30 mark. A season high of 36 and we still have time. 14 of 21 from the floor. He's at an eight of eight from the foul line. Seven foot six, 310 pounds. And there's no question he looks sturdier, he looks more aggressive, he looks fresher at an end of a ball game. And Yao is back at the foul line looking to make it a perfect 10 of 10. Looking for their fourth consecutive win. They're trying to make it 14 victories of the last 18. The Pacers, four points and 3.5 seconds away. Johnson. Yes, so Kevin just trying to get the foul on the three, and that is it. The Rockets make it four in a row. Jeff Foster plays his heart out, 16 offensive rebounds, but Indiana unable to convert on that incredible effort inside. And the Pacers once with a 17-point lead with three and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. But go cold in the fourth period, and the Rockets take advantage, even without Tracy McGrady, and they even the season series at one game apiece, win it 103 to 99.